The infamous Wine Alley, a housing scheme built in Govan in 1934. They fought it full of migrants, all hawkers, lazy layabouts and jakey wine drinkers. Wine Alley? Eh, well, the shoe fits. It was a right slum. Do you know it was once dubbed one of the worst housing schemes in Europe? It was blocked off in three sides. <laughs> no enough, some thought. Probably should have walled it right off. Just as well the council knocked it down in the late 90s, replaced it with an industrial estate. <laughs> Shockingly, that was some people's perception of the wine alley. The problem was that migrants to Govan were getting the new houses in 1935. These migrants weren't from a far away land. They came from the Gorbals. Aye, <laughs> the Gorbals, just over a mile away from Govan. It was actually initially called Muir Park and was built to rehouse people from Glasgow slum tenements. But Govan had their own slum tenements and people were outraged that outsiders were gaining priority. Govan's councillors' ears were ringing with protest. Due to this resentment, the people of Muir Park were stigmatised right from the get-go. The derogatory name and reputation of Wine Alley was to stick for many years to come. The name Muir Park drifted into history and obscurity and the infamy of the Wine Alley grew. My granddad was one of the first to move there for the Gorbals. Aye, <laughs> I know he was a hawker and he was parcel to a wee half bottle of wine, but he was a hard working hawker, peddling his whelks, mussels and candy apples, selling brickets and bunches of sticks. He even went round the Wine Alley giving people an alarm call for a work in the morning, for which he was duly paid for on a Friday. The reality was that people in the Wine Alley were no different from those in other areas of Govan. Working class, proud family people. Of course there was drink and there was anti-social behaviour. But again, no more than the rest of Govan in Glasgow. Hardy people, aye, definitely, had to be cut off and isolated. They wore the label of Wine Alley with pride. It was a great community spirit and the people looked out for each other. After many years of neglect by the council, the wine alley was to get a makeover in the mid-70s. New metal railings, new play park, a community centre, but the refurbishment work they carried out in the houses was minimal. Too little too late, if you ask me. They also changed the name back to Moor Park, but the bad name couldn't be shaken off. It was still the wine alley, and the makeover was just as temporary as the name. Really? I think the place was doomed in 1935 when it was newly built and stigmatised at the same time. The people might be scattered to the four corners of Govan, but the spirit of the Wine Alley endures, still remembered fondly by those who lived there, and perhaps still remembered as a no-go area by others. I'm definitely proud to say that my family came from the Wine Alley. <laughs>